Now, another thing that we do differently at Iowa, uh, all centers will use surfactant therapy initially for RDS. So this is a paper we published a long time ago in 2006. And this respiratory severity score basically is FiO2 uh, times mean airway pressure. And as you go higher, it's a, a good way to look at lung, lung illness. And you, you start with two populations of birth, one that are intubated just because they needed it for neonatal resuscitation. Um, and another group were intubated and actually have RDS. So this is the group that gets surfactant. And the fascinating thing is this group splits by about a, a week of life, about seven days of age, into a group that has what we call post-surfactant slump and another group that doesn't have post-surfactant slump. These are babies that still require to be on the ventilator. And the post-surfactant slump group is the, this population that goes on use, often to die, either acutely or late, from severe respiratory failure, either severe RDS or severe BPD. And we find as they're worsening between day 10 and 14, we can prevent this worsening with a repeat course of surfactant. Now it's important to make sure that this worsening isn't due to pulmonary edema from congestive heart failure from a hemodynamically significant PDA. So obviously if this is due to a hemodynamically significant PDA, you'll treat the PDA first, the PDA shunt is no longer a problem and they're not better. Now you give the repeat surfactant. Um, this is not, this is only done, we found that's only 20% of babies under a thousand grams of RDS who progress here. So when they did the randomized controlled trials of, of late surfactant, they didn't find a difference because they gave it to all babies still on the ventilator and eight out of 10 of those babies did not have a need for that. So most of the babies in the late surfactant, repeat surfactant trials, the respiratory severity index were almost always less than four. And again, we're treating the ones that are, are above four. And again, that's only 20% of that population. So when we do this, we find it's really only 20% of infants less than 1,000 grams of RDS actually develop post-surfactant slump after day of life six. We always wanna rule out that it's not due to a hemodynamic significant duct. We found that over 70% of infants had an improvement with the treatment. And you can predict who was actually gonna develop this because if you needed more, two or more doses of initial surfactant, um, it was very predictive, a 2.4 fold increased risk of needing this. And it, once again, the brilliance of having multidisciplinary teamwork with our obstetricians is that antenatal steroids reduce the risk of developing it by almost 80%. And either these drugs, Infosurf or Curasurf, did help with post-surfactant uh, slump.